Murphy, and hopefully you guys know me from LinkedIn. Um, before I begin talking about myself, I just want to say big thanks to everybody. Big thanks to Kate for inviting me to the show. Um, I'm really grateful and I'm really happy to be here. So a little bit about myself. Um, to be honest, I just got into data science less than a year ago, maybe eight months. And I got introduced to it because of the word big data, like data science. That was all the trend. Um, to be honest, I didn't see myself in the data field at all. I thought I'll be a developer coding all day. But that, that all changed when I got into Springboard, which is a boot camp. And I just finished it a couple of months ago, uh, a couple of weeks ago. So I'm happy with that. And I'd say that this course or just this data environment really changed my life, changed my perspective, like professionally and personally, because I got introduced to a lot of new things that I've never had before, especially with this community, especially just this constant learning environment. So if you guys are in this field, it's the best. You guys are in the right field. <laughs> um, that's a little bit um, about me and in regards to what I've been doing. Um, I do work for a company called Ideas, which is a nonprofit organization. And what we do a lot is we host a lot of conferences throughout the United States. And we're trying to just form a data community, like a data hub. So anything for like artificial intelligence, data science, big data. And we're trying to transition to blockchain a little bit right now. Mm -hmm. So that's who we are as a company. And I also work for um, another boot camp with Trilogy Education. And I'm a TA there, so a teacher assistant. And mm -hmm. I'm very fortunate enough to work with Sarah Nuvri mm -hmm. or Nuravi, if I can say it correctly. Um, just that exposure to the different environment, again, back to the community, I'm loving it right now. So that's a little bit about myself. Great. Sounds like you're having a lot of fun. So first of all, congratulations on the springboard. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. Program. What Long do you think journey. on it? Do you recommend it to others? Yeah, I'm actually going to write a post about it. Like a big, I might make a next article. So thanking everybody that I've like, <laughs> gone through this journey with. So that's a little foreshadowing in the future. But no, again, um, in regards to springboard, um, I think it's a great track for those that are very lost in the field because when I first started I looked at the course the curriculum and I'm like man this is a lot to learn especially with data science so including machine learning everything about data science just all the different modules it's kind of like breathtaking to just look at it straight on and it's hard to imagine you yourself tackling step by step so in regards to that I love the structure of the boot camp it's very well organized so that's, that's a huge plus for people that are lost because mm -hmm. you don't know where to start. So that was something I thought was really helpful. And also too, I'm, I took the data science career track. So okay. that gave me the opportunity to talk with a mentor one-on-one mm -hmm. -on -one for 30 minutes a set for 30 minutes a week. And again, too, especially new to the field, which I highly recommend is get constant feedback. Okay. Because you're new to the field, you don't know if you're doing the right or wrong thing. So that feedback is like a must to make sure you're on that right track. So that, that's where I say finding a mentor anywhere. It could be um, in person through a meetup, LinkedIn, or just a book. Anything that gives you an insight and where you can like talk to that person, get continuous feedback, and just improve, constant improvement. Yeah, I agree. I mean, starting out without feedback, you really have no idea if what yeah. you're doing is right or wrong. And you think you're right, and that's even worse yeah. when you're wrong. So It could be a little scary. <laughs> it's always best to assume you're always wrong and then keep improving. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Great. Thank you. So um, I read on your LinkedIn, I think it was an article, something about an awesome pipeline. So an O S E M N pipeline on data science. If you could just tell, tell us more about that. That'd Got be it. So in my early transition, I'm still transitioning into data science, um, but in my really early phase, like a couple months in, um, I thought to myself, what's the best way to learn? And for me, I thought the best way for me to remember things is through either analogies or through like acronyms. So I can relate it real quick. Mm -hmm. And as I, as I got into data science, I read through a book. It was by, I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name correct. It was Hillary Mason or Masson? Yeah, I think Mason. Mason, okay. And um, Chris Wiggins or somebody. 
Yeah. So they made up a, a pretty cool acronym. It's called Awesome, O S E M N, mm -hmm. and that clicked right away. It stuck in my head. So again, for those that are transitioning to data science and you want a really quick, like, acronym or quick way to remember what you're going to be doing in the field, just think of data science is awesome. And I can explain that. O stands for obtaining the data. Right after O is S stands for or scrubbing the data or cleaning the data. Uh -huh. Okay. E stands for exploring the data. So like your basic EDA. Mm -hmm. um, M stands for modeling the data, so applying like your various machine learning models to it. And then N is for interpreting the data, so communicating results, displaying your visualizations, explaining what's happening, and explaining what you can do with your data. Okay, great. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. I'll, I'll put a link in the, in the YouTube video description so people can find that as well. Thanks. That was really helpful. Yeah. So I saw something else that you have going on, Cloud ML. I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, it is. This is a, it's like a blog, a central repository of all things data science. I <laughs> thought that was really cool. Hey. When did you start that and why? Okay, um, again, back to me, myself. Um, <laughs> the reason why I started is because I like to give back to the community. I think that's the best way to actually improve yourself and also get that exposure just to make yourself out there mm -hmm. and I'm a person that really I like to give a lot and I know that there's a lot of resources out there online and through my struggles I had the hard time of finding what's the right resources that I can find that can make the most impact in my life mm -hmm. because the internet's huge information there's too much information but you got to find that right gem mm -hmm. of like that gold information that that it's worth a lot so I during my time studying with Springboard, I did a lot of research and I found out a lot of different resources. So that's how I started LinkedIn. I use this platform not only to network, but to also share what I'm learning. So as, as I'm sharing all, the, all of these posts, I'm actually showing you guys what I'm learning throughout the process. So we're like learning and growing together. Right. Yeah. And, nice. Oh, yeah. And um, after that, I was like, yeah, I should actually create like a website where since I'm posting a lot of stuff, um, I also use it as a reference. So I'm, I'm happy I, I'm, I created that website. So I'm like, why not just create a website, host it to everybody, and let's see what happens. And I'm getting a lot of feedback, a lot of positive feedback, so I really appreciate it. I'm trying to think of new ways to actually improve the site, maybe like add new functionalities or stuff like that. But... Maybe another hint, I might make a forum because with our ideas, we're hosting bi-monthly webinars. And we had our first one a couple of days ago with Sarah and Eric Weber. So that yes, was- a I actually joined that one. That was really oh, cool. Yeah, I saw your name. Thanks for attending. Yes, I thought that was really cool that you're doing that. So oh, thank first you. session, right? Yeah, it was the first one. That's very cool. Well, yeah, that's about Cloud ML. So if you guys haven't checked it out, it's a site where I host a lot of my resources. There's all our free books, a uh, list of free podcasts, and anything data science or machine learning related, it's all there. And I'll add a link to that in there as well so people can find okay. it easily. All right. So one question I get probably 100 times a day is how to start in the field and how to get your first job. So do you have a story yeah. that you can share about yeah. how you landed your first job? Um, just to get you guys, just to let this out there, um, I'm not a data scientist yet, so I'm still with all of you guys being on this journey, but what really got me out there real quick and what I saw the quickest impact is, again, I can't stress enough on the value of networking. Again, networking is anything in regards to you building a relationship with another person. That's the whole point of networking. Build, building that relationship, knowing who they are, knowing what they've like gone through, learning with them, and they can learn from you. So it's a win-win mutual relationship. And that's something that is not only good for jobs, it's just good for anything throughout your life because you're going to be constantly dealing with people. And the best way um, to get a job is, again, building that relationship with somebody which is going to give you that opportunity that you'll never even think of. 
So back to my first or my second job with uh, Sarah. I actually attended her first meetup at, um, I think, Ticketmasters in Hollywood. Okay. Yeah. And then some guy, his name was, oh, man, I forgot his name. But one guy, he came up to me, and he was random. He told me, hey, you like data science? Like, yeah, we're, we're here. So that was my actual first encounter with a person. It's weird. But the following week, we hit up on Skype to talk more about data science because we're new into the field. And he actually said, hey, Sarah contacted me saying if you were interested in a TA position at USC. I can't do it. I'm busy. So you want me to like give you a recommendation. Hmm. And through that, that second party connection, which I had no affiliation with, gave me the opportunity to work hmm. in a data science boot camp with Sarah and gave me the exposure to meet a lot of cool people. Wow, that's a great story. Yeah. So that's, I just really value networking because um, there's a quote, I always say it all the time everybody that you meet knows something that you don't because they've been through something that's unique to them and that they, that they can pass on to you. Yeah. So that was something I want to say. If you want to kick your or get a kickstart into your career, highly, 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 highly suggest building a relationship with people, networking. Yeah, I completely agree. I think a lot of people are attempting to network, but mm. I think we maybe they need to do some research or listen to some more webinars about the right way to, yes, to work. Yes, exactly. And I know you guys covered a bit of that um, in, the, in the webinar that you had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I thought that yeah. was really useful. I'd also like to add, too, about the networking stuff. Um, normally, because I get a lot of messages, too, and some people were asking me, like, some tactics on how to, like, approach recruiters and all of that. Um, it might be biased, but when people say networking it's not hey this is my name this is why i'm this is what i have this is all my skills here's my resume <laughs> <laughs> that's not networking at all networking is actually like taking the time to know who they are so do some research um know what company they're working for know what their hobbies are and try to find some connection between you and them mm -hmm. that gives you a better upper hand a better chance for you to stand out and stick to their heads so i think Replace networking with relationships, I would say. Yeah, I completely agree with that. So, uh, Randy, the last question I have for you today is, it's a little different. If All right. you could um, possess one superhuman power, what would it be? <laughs> okay. Um, can I choose more? No, no it's fine. One. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, okay, I would say flying. Flying? flying. Yes, because every time I'm on a plane, I always take the window seat. I just love looking at the skies, looking at the, the skyline. And even though I'm a, afraid of heights a little bit, I love trying to, you know, tackle my fears. And just the concept of flying and hovering is just really cool to me. So you'll probably get one of those book bags that, like, <laughs> let you hover around. And I've yeah, seen of course. <laughs> I should, I should. Yeah, I would, I would definitely pick flying. Okay, great. Well, Randy, thank you so much for being on Humans of Data Science. It's been really awesome getting to know you. No, thank you, Kate. It was a pleasure.